Hello everyone, it's me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and today I would like to share with you yet another trading plan. Uh, as usual we are going to look at different time frames, um, do some technical analysis and uh, decide what uh, we want to do with this pair. Uh, today's plan will be a more long-term trading plan, uh, we are going to follow it probably for the next few months and we will only uh, look for opportunities in one direction. Uh, this can help us build a base, uh, a dat like a database of uh, trades. So if we have a huge move uh, down for the next few months or up, we can uh, build up uh, entries and uh, we'll take some of the profits in, but we'll leave the rest floating until the uh, downtrend or uptrend is finished. Uh, the plan will be posted on TradingView as well so you can track its development there and live signals will be uh, shared with you via Twitter or on our Telegram channel so join now if you haven't. The link below this video. Now let's get started. Uh, what you see on the screens is the Great British Pound Australian Dollar uh, currency pair monthly chart. I'm starting with the monthly chart because I want to show you a few things here. I will go through the weekly one, daily, and we'll finish on the H4. So on the monthly chart, we can see that currently uh, the price is hanging inside of this monthly resistance area. Although uh, over here we had some strange moves, you can see that actually the price reacted from that area here then here for a month and then when it uh, started the downtrend from here it, the correction started from here it was broken and now uh, if we count this as a correction uh, you can expect another wave down and that's what we will be looking for. Uh, just in case I have placed the second monthly resistance uh, area here uh, you can see how the pair reacted from that area here and here or and also back here uh, when it was still acting as a support area. Uh, this mo second monthly resistance area is placed in case uh, we see a break of the current uh, monthly resistance area which I believe is highly unlikely but if we see it we can look for buy opportunities up until here. So this is a two uh, way scenario. Now going to the weekly time frame, you can see the monthly resistance. We'll talk about this daily consolidation a little bit uh, later in the video. Uh, first thing to notice here is that the price already uh, reached this monthly resistance once here and we saw a downtrend for uh, how long was it? From April to August, so for a few months, a uh, very nice downtrend. Now, uh, this is the second time the price has reached this monthly resistance. From here, if we don't see a break, uh, this would uh, form a double top of this uh, whole uptrend. Uh, this configuration would be perfect for us because uh, this would mean that a new downtrend is ready to start and it will probably be a very very long one. Uh, also I want to point out here if we turn on the moving average with uh, 200 period settings you can see that here it not only the monthly resistance acted as a resistance this area but also the 200 SMA line acted as a resistance and now the price is touching it again uh, the price is below the monthly resistance so we have a downtrend and uh, here we have a double, um, how to say it, uh, it's not a confirmation but like uh, two levels in one uh, from which the, uh, the price can bounce. So that's a very good indication for an incoming downtrend. Now going to daily. Uh, you can see that I have already marked two uh, daily consolidation areas. Uh, those daily consolidations, consolidation areas will act as resistant or support areas for the H4 trends. 
Now currently this daily consolidation area is formed by this range here. If we turn on the Bollinger Bands, you can see uh, the squeeze here before the new uh, downtrend began. And the same goes here. Uh, we had a consolidation here, a short range on the daily time frame, then a wave down. Uh, even when the price reached back to it, it acted shortly as a resistance area and then it was broken. So uh, from here, I expect for the price to start going down. Uh, this will be my first target area uh, since we will be trading the pair on the lower time frames. Uh, this will be uh, the second target area, although I wrote one target one, but this is a long term target. A more short term is here. Uh, going back to the weekly, just to show you why I marked these spots, you can see how the price reacted from this uh, support area here and after that here. So it's a good level to look at. Also, it acted here as a resistance here and so on. And we have a very, very long term uh, weekly support, which is our uh, last and final target, which is all the previous bottoms. You can see it's a very strong level. Here, although it didn't reach it, it went close. So at this point, uh, let's sum it up. I expect a downtrend to begin from this monthly resistance and from this daily consolidation. I expect uh, on the lower time frames uh, for the price to easily reach this daily consolidation uh, in the next week. And then probably in the next few weeks or months uh, to reach this weekly support and then this second one. Now going to the H4, uh, I just want to mention here that the only thing I see and it's pretty good because it, it can give us a very good opportunity to enter at the beginning of the new downtrend is this uh, small square formation uh, or consolidation the price is forming over here. You can see how tight it is. Now, if this continues for a, a couple, like a day or two more, uh, it can be perfect because since uh, you can see the Bollinger Bands are already start closing around the price. So even if you take the whips of uh, these candles, this is the area uh, we'll be anticipating uh, for the price to break down and then to look for possible entries up until here and then maybe we'll have a small correction here and then a new wave down probably to somewhere like around here again small correction and a wave down to the weekly support uh, so where are where are the spots where we can look for possible entries uh, either here after a break of this uh, square formation or here after the uh, bounce and the correction is finished of the down wave or here. Of course, this is uh, to look for entries on the H4, uh, but we will take our ent uh, entries on the M30 because uh, we can position ourselves better. Still, uh, the H4 will be our main uh, time frame, and based on it, we'll make our decisions. Now, if the top of this uh, square formation is broken, uh, I will continue waiting for a uh, confirmation that this level will hold the monthly uh, resistance area or if we see a break out of it, I'll wait for a correction and then look for possible buy opportunities. But as I said, uh, I believe a downtrend is more likely. This is it on this plan. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will follow it and most importantly, Let's hope we will make some profits out of it. Uh, this is a long-term trading plan. I'll be following it for the next few months and I will look only for sell opportunities or only for buy opportunities depending on uh, what decisions the traders make at this point. Uh, if you want to receive additional information or uh, some useful no uh, content, you can follow us throughout our social media profiles. Uh, the links are below this video. And also if you have any questions or comments, you can leave it on any of our profiles or you can contact us directly and we'll try our best to answer your questions. 
Thank you very much for the attention and I wish you a profitable week.